keeping the number of people who have cast their vote and those who did not show up. And then, these here are the college papers. These, again, are the documentation at the end of the day. This is documentation on the beginning of the voting day. This is the actual list of voters with their signatures. Okay, these are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, I don't know, around 10, 11 schools so far. We have, this is maybe one fourth or one fifth of what we have there. We have to go through all of these papers because on each ballot and on each of these papers, there's a voting station number. Okay? Yeah. The fact that I have this means that this voting station has to be excluded. Yeah. So I have to go through these files and document each and every voting station and make sure that these are amongst the ones that they announced are excluded. We have to match our findings with their announcement of exclusion of certain voting stations. But were there explicit rules in place for what happened after the counting with the ballots? Were they all just supposed to be placed back in the Oh box? yes, oh yes. Okay. They have to be stacked yeah. and kept in case a candidate says, yeah. I disagree with the count and we have to do the count again. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Right. So the fact that this is in the garbage, and there's no way of knowing whether or not they were even counted to begin with, right? No. The one thing we know that they excluded some voting stations. Yeah. Now we have to match yeah. the numbers we have here with the numbers that, because judging by this amount, this is huge. Yeah. This is this this, this, this makes an entire district not bad. Yeah.